Hi, Sadsters. I wanted to say thank you for coming to my dinner party. We had a great time. And um, I uh, just want to let you know that we sold some crazy bread. If anybody wants to take it home with them. Um, thank you to everybody who said hi to me. It's nice to meet everybody. Um, Jane. Uh, you were saying you felt like you had a made-up disease, um, and uh, my mom has one of those. Is it fibromyalgia? Is that it? Did I hit it on the head? It, or is, is it rheumatoid arthritis? My dad has that. And this isn't like I'm trying to talk about like sad stuff. I'm just like, uh, you know, playing guess your disease. You know, like uh, the way normal dinner parties wrap up. Um, I also was wondering, since uh, you did the bee venom, if there was anything like you wouldn't willing to be do doing, like if there's anything crazier, like, um, I don't know, like um, cat testicle therapy. I don't even know what that would be, but would you sign on board? Um, and Sarah, I agree with everything you said in your video. Um, like absolutely everything about not getting too personal, about like, and actually, I think it's fine to do bits. I like the bits. I thought about, I was going to do a bit today with this crazy bread. I already had it. Don't worry. I didn't plan out and get crazy bread for a bit. It wasn't going to be that good. I was just going to be like, hey, since you guys think I'm crazy, here's some crazy bread. A great joke like that. Boom! When in the naysayers back over with that, I would have. Anyway, uh... I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, Josh, I hope you had a nice time at the beach. Thanks for uh, recording a video, taking the time out. I hope you built a nice sandcastle, you know, something for America. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, Steve Ag. oh, I had a good question for you. Or a good question in general. So I feel like this happens a lot with comedians where, like, you're like, no way, man. I mean, like, I'm way crazier than you. I feel like... People always say that. Or maybe I, maybe it's just me and Steve Agee. Maybe everybody's hit it on the head uh, so far by saying that we're alike. Um, but I don't know, do, do comedians feel competitive to be the most depressed, the most neurotic when they're around other comedians? Do you want to win that badge? Um, and um, that's about it. Um, hey, remember, remember my joke about the crazy brand? Backyard, by the way. Cute grill pit that I use as my desk. Can you guys see that? That's what I use at night when it's too hot. Too hot to handle. And uh, <clears throat> I'm on a huge deadline for Wednesday. And I promised myself I wasn't going to write any tweets today. I wrote like 10. And I promised myself I wasn't going to record a sad sad. And now here I am. Sad. Gotta get it together. <sighs> Gotta get it together. Okay, this is just to say that I rewatched this when I came inside and it looks like I edited this together when I like swung my computer by, but I didn't. But now by adding this in, I'm sorry everybody, this is another edited video, but it's not really, they were both first takes. I hope you guys like that really unattractive angle that I ended on at the end. Just know where that came from. Ew. I'm so sure I'm just 